Well, hello, hello, everybody. My name is Shay Too Sweet. You can call me Shay for short. And today we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be reviewing Guts has Black Air Force Energy. Is he? If he's in, I think that's a Photoshop picture. But I'm about to say if he's in Guts, I'll actually watch this series. That is cute. Anyway, links to the original creator will be down below. I'll be your resident Black friend talking through the whole entire thing. Hey, look, look, I have got a black friend. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Alright, so in the vast world of anime and manga, there are a ton, and I mean a ton, of characters with Black Air Force energy. And as many of y'all know, me, oh, Mater was a me and the homie CJ try our best to talk about these characters. Whether they're from Tokyo Avengers, JJK, hey. Naruto, Hunter x Hunter, Yu Yu Hakusho, Dragon Ball Z, it doesn't matter where these characters are from. If a character wears those Black Air Forces or those Timberlands, we're gonna talk about them. And I have scrolled through the count countless countless recommendations in my discord channel hearing y'all ask me to do a hood review of berserk and i'm gonna be berserk. honest with y'all it's gonna be tough for me to do a hood review of berserk this is a manga in which there are human beings who rape and pillage villages how in the fuck do you guys want me to make that funny do you want me to be i don't know making a bunch of dark humor and make rape jokes there's no way that i would possibly do that however in today's video we are going to talk about a character who i believe has some of these the most black air force energy that i have seen in any series and that is guts from berserk this is guts has black air force energy now guys before we go any further into the video i just need to say something here make sure that if you guys like this black air force series that i'm trying to do i talk about specific characters and not just the whole series make sure that y'all give me a like and if y'all facts give me some likes please please and thank you help us to grow Help this brother grow. Amen. Hallelujah. I want the next Black Air Force character video. I need at least, at least 5,000 of those things, yo. Give me. F I, I'll take, I'll take a thousand. Thank you. Yeah. 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 You like the button. Yeah. I'll take a thousand. Thank you. 5,000 likes. I deserve that. Also, in my pinned comment, there's a Discord link and a Twitter link. Make sure that y'all follow me on Twitter and join the Discord. Because I know that y'all can. It's free. Y'all can't afford free? God damn, broke ass niggas. Man, I knew y'all niggas was broke. But that's neither near or there. Guts is one of the most badass characters that I have ever he's seen cute. in my goddamn life. Like, this, this, this. Hold up. Let me not say he cute and then he end up being the, the other person. <laughs> This guy is Black Air Force personified. He dresses in black armor for God's sake. He's basically in patent leather right now. This man is in a Black Air Force. Now, I'm not gonna lie. When we first meet Guts in the story, it's kind of sad. Well, if you get through all the letter chapters, because, uh, bro, it, it, have you ever tried to pick up and read Berserk and you get confused because there's like letter, like chapters before the regular chapters? Like, bro, I'm not here for the, the LGBTQ community chapters, bro. Like, bro, all these alphabets, bro. Anyways, when you get. <laughs> bro, I'm here for the L I'm here for the LGB I'm LGBT no G LGBT I think it's some more letters afterwards Q I A G Look, I'm just bisexual and my cousins are just lesbians. I don't I don't I don't really know about everybody else. <laughs> So there you go. Get through it and we get to, you know, Guts' backstory. He grew up rough. And he had it rough, man. I ain't gonna lie, bro. When you see that man uh, dodging, yo, I ain't gonna lie to you. Did. And I told you I wasn't gonna make fun of anything that had to do with sexual assault. So I'm not going to. But this man Donovan, just that pure panel that they use as a meme nowadays of this man walking into that tent as he is on his R. Kelly shit. Like he walks in that tent and you can tell from the grimmest look on this man's face that he is after some kid's cheeks. Somebody get Chris Hansen in here. Imagine Chris Hansen and Donovan having a conversation. <laughs> It'll probably be something like this. Uh, so Donovan, I, uh, see you're here at 3 a.m. in this tent, and you're probably surprised to see me. And then Donovan will probably say some shit like, <clears throat> Man, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm just in here, uh, was looking for, uh, some pots and pans. I was, I was about to make dinner. Uh, Donovan, you were about to make dinner at 3 a.m. in a tent with no fire? There's not a single fire lit anywhere. I, uh, 
I don't know from these, you know, letters that we got via carrier pigeon, it, it looks like you were sending explicit drawings of what seems to be your genitalia to a small boy. I, I'm kind of confused. Uh, no, 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 um, uh, that was, that was fan art. I, uh, you feel me? So what's like, bro, that, that man Donovan was up to no good. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be honest, bro. That man, he wasn't, she wasn't supposed to be in that tent, but he ended up doing something to, you know, guts that changed him as a person. It filled him with insecurity, which I feel like later in life led to him being the badass that he is. But this man, guts had always been a warrior from when he was a kid man he got abandoned you know as a little baby all that stuff happened to him he was traveling with bandits bro that was his life he grows up and he's just talented but i'll be honest life seemed kind of gloom for him until he met the band of the hawk and the booty bandit himself griffith now i'm not gonna lie griffith. to you this man griffith is beautiful like I'm every time i i'm about to say that's a boy <laughs> That's the Y boner. I I didn't I thought that was a girl. Bro, especially the way that they drew the eyes on on this character. The eyes, the lips. Like I thought that was a chick. I, I'm being dead serious, man. And 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 they playing with this like this just a position shit. Cause normally if somebody's like this well lit and everything else, they're a good guy. I'm 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 just probably gonna think that this person's bad. I'm 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 just gonna go out on a limb and think like, yeah, this person did some fucked up shit. See Griffin for the first time when I go back and reread Berserk, I'm thinking to myself like, I don't know, man. I'm uh, starting to get uh, a little bit aroused here. I I don't know, but I, it, 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 that's neither near or there. The point that I'm trying to make is this man Griffith is beautiful. Why are you gonna make somebody this vile that beautiful, Miura? And, and rest in peace to Miura, by the way. This is no disrespect to him. But why are you making Griffith this beautiful? That man is. She needs to be thrown away. Somebody arrest him. There's no way that you made somebody that vile that beautiful. Now I called him a booty bandit, but he's also a booty seller this man griffith <laughs> and maybe i'll make a video on him at some other point but there was a part in this story and this is completely unrelated to guts's character but i'm going to talk about it because it's probably one of the funniest things that's happened in this berserk manga this man was trying to get money for like rations or weapons and things for the band of the hawk which you know his people that he was trying to lead and, and start a kingdom with so he met this old nasty fat ass white guy and he sold his cheeks this man sold his cheeks I can't believe that this man is going to be a booty bandit, but also let somebody booty bandit him. Well, I guess, I mean, if he needed some stuff, bro, I mean, I guess this is OnlyFans before OnlyFans existed. <laughs> this man was giving his cheese up like a commodity, bro. Like, like, oh my God, son. For the money. How much <laughs> money was he giving you? That nigga Griffith going up to that old ass white dude like, man, shit, $20 or $20, nigga. <laughs> like, I, I ain't gonna lie, like, I get it, but uh, damn. I mean, you was kind of pretty. He probably don't even know that you would do for real. <laughs> Soft ass skin. But anyways, this man, <laughs> that was kind of crazy, but anyways oh. when he met this booty banded ass nigga griffith his whole life changed he looked up to griffith gus looked up to this nigga which led to him becoming one of the most badass warriors that damn. i have ever seen in my goddamn life bro guts is insane like when i tell you that this nigga's sword skill was that of a man when he was a young teenager that's to be an understatement there's this one scene in the berserk anime and i know that you guys aren't gonna want to watch it because the berserk anime especially the cgi version is garbage Bitch. that shit is like 16 bit like I, I don't know it looks like if they made tetris the anime that's what that shit looked like bro what it's like fuck? x arm but with swords I, I don't understand but anyways there's a scene where it hits one versus a hundred soldiers and this man guts defeats an entirety of a hundred soldiers like this shit is ridiculous now him Whoa. and Casca were together like i'm not gonna lie it wasn't like he was by himself the entirety of the time but this man beat the majority of these hundred soldiers and they weren't all fodder there were some big niggas here bro he fights them and until the morning bro the sun comes up all you see is dead bodies just laid out everywhere this man guts has arrows on his legs arms and shit man out here looking like a practice dummy but he lays out the entirety of these niggas and it's a scary sight to see i can't lie to you now you remember oh yeah y'all put down below which 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 berserk should i watch uh like which uh like as in like he just said the cgi one shit so I always, people always say start from the beginning, but you know how some of these animes, some of these, some of these animes, they get re-released, remastered, re-everything. So put the name of the first Berserk anime down below. And if I, if you know where to watch it at, put that too. Cause I got Funimation, even though Funimation is about to close, I got Funimation, Crunchyroll, and I have, uh, I know for damn certain it probably will not be on Netflix. 
uh, and I know it's not on Disney Plus. Those are the streaming services I have. So if you could put down below which one to watch, they go or what streaming service is on. When I told you about when Guts fought 100 men, well, there was a fight that he had against that nigga Poscone, which is the leader of these like rhino ass niggas. These niggas are walking around in like rhino armor. You know, if a nigga got an armor on that is a rhino, stop playing with him. That nigga is built different. But anyways, he fights the leader of the cuter army, Poscone, and he says that this man brought him closer to death than those 100 men that he fought. These niggas are going at it. I mean, bro, again, one of the most badass moments I've ever seen. This man, Guts, this is his early years. This fight and the leader of a motherfucking military army and he wins the fights bro we oh my god bro Let's there's no go. way that he fought somebody that's basically built like a zoan from one piece and he won bro this Let's man comes go. riding in on a sword with rhino armor and he still beats this nigga god damn this nigga different bro like bro this man guts beat a nigga in rhino armor bro don't take guts to the zoo bro because he's punishing animals bro it's it's like that it's up and it's stuck now oh I ain't gonna my lie. god Yo, there's just go. one fight that's mad funny i gotta talk about and I know I'm jumping all over the place, but it's like, there's so many funny ass moments and bad ass moments that this man Guts has that I have to talk about different ones. But there's this one time where he fought the Snake Lord, Joe. And I know that I'm bringing this up and, and I did, you know, watch the anime, even though I know that's blasphemous and I did read the manga, but you know, I, I have to talk about this. Cause in the anime, when he fight the Snake Lord, bro, it is hilarious because after he ends up beating this nigga, bro. And this nigga Snake Lord is nasty, by the way. It's just a big ass snake armored guy. Got this nasty ass tongue. He's a snake demon but anyways there's this one scene where guts is like standing over top of him with this like crossbow arm that he has and he's just shooting this nigga in the face with it over and over again all you hear is pew, pew. and the dude is screaming the whole time he's like oh please stop help me and this music pew, 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 shooting him in the face with arrows i'm like bro this is built different now there's a lot of crazy first and foremost what did the snake nigga do that's that's see like people be like oh man that's so brutal he shouldn't have did that all depends on what you get because I always try to tell people you cannot tell how people if you start something won't be nothing you can't tell people how to respond to you that's why I, that's why I feel like hey yo leave that man alone dog because you know what them quiet people them, them quiet people don't be fucking with nobody they be they'll him a nigga up real quick leave them leave them boys alone I'm not saying Gus is one of them boys but you you understand what I'm saying and badass black air force moments in this motherfucking series bro but one that is insane is when guts gets the berserker armor bro because there's a point in the story where and there's a lot of information that y'all probably won't have if you're not cut up on berserk and that's fine it doesn't matter but there's a point in the story where the apostles have the good guys cornered we all think that guts is down and out we think that there's nothing that he can do but then Floyd gives the previous scar Knight armor to guts this nigga puts black air force armor on now i'm not gonna lie to you there is nothing harder to me than this moment right here except Damn. for this one other moment that i am going to talk about but this moment where he puts on the black air force armor the berserk armor oh my god bro i ain't gonna lie bro it's like yo you remember going to school and it's your first day of a new year and you put on the cleanest fit that you got bro you go to school with the cleanest fit the cleanest shirt cleanest pants cleanest shoes you got your jewelry all that you feel me you shining on them like like oh my god i turn my swag on yeah Walk up in the studio, they know what's up. Oh, I'm getting money. Like, bro, when you go to school and you got that fresh outfit on, that is what happened to Guts when he put this berserk armor on. And for the first time, we get to see this nigga Guts balance the scales between him and an apostle. When him and Grindale fight and he got this berserk armor on, oh my God. This man, Grindale, this man is like a drag, like dragon high type beat. Holy I thought that there was shit. nothing that could beat this nigga. I'm not gonna lie, bro. In my mind, I was like, bro, there is no nobody here that can defeat this nigga nobody here can beat this nigga if guts can't beat him nobody can and then he put the black air forces on and it really turned up basically when he's in his berserk armor this nigga feels nothing bro broken bones doesn't matter fucked up body doesn't matter this nigga literally is on gummy worm bro and by that y'all know what gummy worm is like you know when your girl suck you off you feel me you hit it for a little bit you it, 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 ski, 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 ski. and then she keep hitting it afterwards you on gummy worm yo and you can last forever on gummy worm that's what this nigga is he numb nigga bro this nigga is on dead um i got a lot of male viewers hey, can y'all explain gummy worm to me because i have no idea what that I, I, is that a limp is that after you busted up 
Y'all explain it to me because I don't have one. Uh, I don't, duh. I don't have one. I, I, because I'm thinking that is, is that mean like, like after you bust, after you bust a nut and, but normally if you, after you bust a nut, you, you go soft and then like, you, we got, we have that tired moment. We have tired phases, like at least for like 30 minutes and then it goes back. But I never heard of gummy worms that, somebody explain that down below. Thank you. Ass gummy worm timing, bro. This nigga feels nothing, bro. This shit is crazy, man. And it's just like putting on Black Air Force. You put them shits on, bro. You feel unstoppable, and that's literally what happens. Now another moment that is crazy and berserk, bro. It has to be Guts and Griffith versus Zod, bro. This fight was insane, cause this man Zod, when he fought them, I was like, bro, nobody in the story is beating this nigga. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Until I met like God Hand niggas and shit, this nigga Zod was just built different, bro. He is the Black Air Force beast himself. Like I, I, I wish he had more characterization. I would have made the video about him that nigga's a demon literally bro was a motherfucking minotaur man nigga makes goro from mortal combat look like a bitch i ain't gonna lie bro oh. smoke this hell bro like like this dude is insanely strong and they fight this nigga and they lose i ain't gonna lie like if it wasn't for the, uh, griffith doing what he did and i ain't gonna spoil them niggas would have been mincemeat i'm not gonna lie bro zod would have turned them niggas into motherfucking play-doh berserk edition bro uh, did griffin sleep he would have molded him into a motherfucking patty and ate him alive. This nigga Zod, big as shit for no reason. Swote ass nigga. Like somebody hit this nigga with a steroid nuke. What the fuck wrong with this nigga, man? This nigga probably eats whole cows, bro. I'm gonna be honest. Like, this nigga, whole cows. He don't even chew. He just swallows them shits. Big as hell, nigga. This nigga is different. Him and Shaq got the same shoe size. Like, bro. Anyway, this nigga Zod is different, but that fight was crazy. Another Black Air Force moment for my nigga Guts, though. Guts went into this motherfucking building not knowing what was going to go on. He was a regular ass human at the time. He had the berserk armor he wasn't really having experience fighting demons yet and he still walked up in here 10 toes nigga was not playing i think the most badass thing about this nigga gusto was that he carries his big ass sword around bro this sword is big as shit bro what is he, he he's a he's a he's a final fantasy character <laughs> Hey, bro, what the fuck, bro? Have you ever seen the Fume Knight sword from Dark Souls, yeah. bro? Or, like, I don't even know, bro. This nigga's sword is just a hunk of metal. It's not even a sword. It's not sharp. It's just dull as hell. It's just a big-ass slab of metal. This nigga walking around with a goddamn surfboard on his back. Like, bro, big-ass sword. There's just one time his arms are fucked up. This nigga picks up the sword in his fucking mouth and uses it like a helicopter propeller. He slashes niggas with it in his mouth. This nigga Zoro do not. What? He can do that with in his mouth? Oh, he got he got some strong jaws. <laughs> One with my nigga guts, man. Zoro talking about I got three swords. I got one in my mouth. This nigga got a big ass Volvo in his mouth. Nigga has a Hard. U in his mouth. Nigga has Hard. a Honda Civic sized sword in his mouth, carrying that shit with his neck muscles. This man guts is different. God damn, bro. That, no, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I don't care what nobody says. Guts is Black Air Force personified. Black Air Force energy in totality. This nigga is built entirely different. God damn, this nigga is different, man. Yo, I know that we were talking about guts, bro. But real quick, next time on. Dragon Ball Z. We'll we'll hop into that next time, but no, up uh, this I guess this uh, this I'm I'm gonna probably regret this. I heard Gus was a lot. I heard Berserk was a lot worse than this. I I I think he I think he he went over it in the beginning where he said that there were some like a like a like a I think like one R word that happened, but. Like, people said Guts was really, like, they said Berserk was really hard to watch because they had a whole bunch of bad moments, but, like, I only could, maybe he didn't highlight them. Because uh, I don't want to eat my words and people be like, girl, he didn't go into this, this, and this, you know what I'm saying? But, I mean, like, I'll give Berserk a try. I mean, it don't seem as, it doesn't seem as bad as Redo of a Healer, so I'll give it a try. But again, um, links for my, uh, links for original creator will be down below. Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And of course, like, comment, and subscribe to me. I have three channels. All of those will be linked down below. We have gaming, gaming, movies, video, gaming, movies, uh, video game, all of this, all on all my channels. So go ahead, get you a dose of some sweetness, uh, from Shay Too Sweet. But again, my name is Shay Too Sweet. You call me Shay for short. And like my grandmother always says, Baby, I love when she gets a character Watch her bust it down for the camera Might go poor cause she never looks like an amateur Want it longer, I'ma flex a little stamina